It's 514 now. New this morning, we've been following mosquitoes across the valley. The Ohio Department of Health recently released new numbers on what we're seeing across the state this summer so far. First News Weekend morning anchor Connor Kick is live in our newsroom with more on the trends. Connor. Well, good morning, Chelsea. The Ohio Department of Health, they study mosquitoes every single year. And one of those things that they do when they're studying is checking how often that the uh, transmission of West Nile disease is actually put through humans. Well, actually, just last year, Mosquitoes were the number one killer of people of any other species of animal on Earth. Now, in Ohio, our mosquito season began back in February and it'll run through October or November. In Ohio, we're dealing with three separate species of mosquito. If you remember back in spring when we had a ton of rain, that created great conditions for the mosquitoes to breed and populate over bodies of water or standing water. Even though it may not seem like it, we're predicted to have wetter than normal conditions across the Midwest this summer. So Ohio is currently slightly above the average threat level. The numbers are really promising and positive so far, though. This year, the Ohio Department of Health has taken over 1,500 mosquito samples. 56 of those mosquitoes mosquitoes tested positive for West Nile disease. Now, this also has been a zero human cases of West Nile across the state as well. This all the only cases that we saw were people traveling from outside of the country before the pandemic started with traveling restrictions. But coming up in our next half hour, I'll tell you about some spraying that the Mahoning County Department of Health is doing, as well as debunk one of the biggest myths surrounding mosquitoes this season. Live in a newsroom, Connor Cake, First News this morning.